Today I have an Ecobee thermostat and I'm going to be going through the controls of the Ecobee thermostat to let you know how to turn it on, turn it off, how to switch from heater to cooling, and a lot of different features that this thermostat, cool thermostat, has to offer. So uh, stick with me. And if you don't want to stick with me, check the description part of the page. I'll leave timestamps to various parts of the video where you can just skip to. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to start from the top. And right here at the top, there's a little flame. Uh, right there, uh, it, the flame is actually indicative that the heater is on. So that's what's on right now. The heater is on. But if I want to, I can just tap this flame and it will take me to options where I can switch to cool, to auto, and to off. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch to off. It turns off the heater. It turns off the heating system if I just do that. It's a really simple. There's other options to or other ways I can take to turn the heater off. But that is the quick option to turn the heater off and if I want to turn it back on I just simply tap this and go to another selection so I'm gonna to go to another selection cool alright so that is the air conditioner do you see that frosty looking thing right there that's indicative that the air conditioner is on I'm going to go ahead and turn that off I'm gonna tap again there is an auto feature tap that now this auto feature it turns on if the temperature gets to a certain temperature um, for both air conditioner or heater so uh, it detects if it is if the air conditioner needs to be turned on or the heater needs to be turned on or off and the same with air conditioner I'll get to that a little bit later but let's go ahead and go back to heater so the heater is on okay so now I'll just talk to you how to turn the heater on and off and now I'm going to show you how to select the temperature in the room. So the heater is on. The temperature currently in the room is 77 degrees. That's what this middle number is indicative. And if you look above, it shows what the humidity is in the room. And the humidity is 21%. The temperature is 77. So it's actually quite warm in the room. The uh, controls right here do you see this number right here where it says 57 it says 57 and down here it also says 57 and holding and what that is indicative of is if the temperature gets below 57 degrees the heater will turn on to get to 57 degrees and I can adjust the temperature by taking my thumb or other finger and holding touching and holding this button right here I can bring it up, turn the temperature higher, just keep on holding it higher and it can take me all the way up to 79 degrees. Or if I want it cooler, just pull it down right here and it can go as low as 45 degrees. But we're going to take it, I'm going to take it back up to about 57 degrees right there. So that's it. And the same thing if I want to air conditioner, I can tap the air conditioner for cool. It's set to come on if uh, the temperature raises above 53 degrees and it is actually above 53 degrees as you can see it says 77 right there but uh, so it's going to turn on shortly unless I adjust it so let me adjust this I'm going to take it above 77 degrees take it to 78 taking about 77 degrees right here or 78 so it says 78 right here and it says 78 and holding down there so so if the temperature in the room gets above 78 degrees the cooling system will turn on and cool off the room all right so now I'm gonna take you back tap on that and I'm gonna go to the auto feature now if you have the auto feature on if the temperature rises above 81 degrees I have it set right here for the auto if it rises above 81 degrees the air conditioner will turn on all right and the heater right here is if it drops below 60 76 degrees the heater will turn on so that's the air conditioner and that's the heater and I can adjust these accordingly all right
right? So that's a gap. So it will always stay in between these two uh, numbers right here. And you can adjust those. And that's a cool feature to have. That way your room stays at a constant temperature. All right, so I'm going to go back to heat. And I'm going to work with that. Next, I'm going to go right here. It says right here, indicative that it is 75 degrees and holding. No one if I tap on that. It resumes the schedule. There's a schedule button. I'm going to take you to that. But let me go ahead and click it. All right, I move that up and it went to the temperature it was. Now, the thing with the schedule, you can schedule your heater or air conditioner unit to come on depending on the time of the day, time of the week, or whenever. We'll get to that shortly. All right, so now we're going to, I'm going to take you to the menu. All right, there's a couple of buttons down right here. There's the center button right here, this cloud. That's how you can register your device or control it remotely. I'm not going to take you through that, but I will take you through the menu. This button right here, this wheel menu, it's for quick changes, home now, home for now, away for now. We'll get to that last. So let me go ahead and click out of that. It shows the date right here and everything for quick changes. We'll get to that later. We're going to go through the menu now. So I'm going to click this right here, these three bars right here. This is the menu bar. So I click that and it brings me to the main menu. The first step is registration. I'm not going to take you through that. I'm going to go through other systems. All right. So now that I'm in the main menu, I'm going to go to system, system heat. It says system heat. So the system, it shows the, the HVAC. What is it set on? It's set on the heat. I can change it to any one of these in the main menu if I want to, but I'm going to keep it at heat right now. On the next level right here, there is the fan. Tap on this. Before I tap on it, see right here, it says auto. So regardless if the HVAC is on, this auto is, you, it's set that the fan comes on for at least five minutes every hour. Now the purpose of that is to keep air circulating throughout the room. Keeps air circulating through the room regardless if the air conditioner or heater is on. You have air circulating so it doesn't become stale. Let me go ahead and click on that. Now that I clicked on it, it says, what is your preference? Preferred minimum run, fan run time for auto mode. You can set it anywhere from zero and it goes up to 55 minutes. So you can go from zero, I'll set it to zero or five minutes or I'll set it to zero. So the fan to circulate the air in the room will come on anywhere from zero to 55 minutes if you choose to. So that's a cool setting to keep the air circulating. So that's part of that. We'll get out of the system. Next, we'll go to sensors. Click on that. This right here, you can have various sensors that you can have with the Ecobee that detects uh, temperature and everything in other rooms. I'm not going to get too much into that, but uh, you might want to check out Ecobee uh, for sensors if that's something that you like. Next, I'm going to make it down to schedule. The schedule right here, you can have it a Monday through Sunday. You can have, you could set uh, the temperature or what kind of temperature you'd like to have throughout the, uh, throughout the day, depending on what day of the week or whatnot. Uh, you can have this right here, say for instance, it says sleep, it has home, and it has sleep right here. So you have options right here. So you can make selections and say, for instance, uh, at nighttime, you'd like it a little bit cooler or a little bit warmer. You can have this schedule and you can set it for the schedule for when you're home, when you're asleep and different sleep schedules. I'm just going to go ahead and click one on right here. So the, the sleep, you can start the sleep time. Let's say we'll start the sleep time at 11 p.m. I'll select that and then I'll go to save. All right. And so what it's set at is that the sleep will turn on the setting. The sleep setting will turn on uh, at 11 o'clock. It will go to 62 degrees 
it will, if it gets colder than 62 degrees, the heat will turn on to bring it back up to 62 degrees. If it gets warmer than 80 degrees, the, uh, the air conditioner will turn on and cool it down. All right. And so as you can see, if right here, I go to home, you can set the time for when you're at home and all the above. And if you want to add a different schedule, you go up and press this plus button and it will show you, give you options. You can have home, away, or sleep. Let's go ahead and add an away. So go to away and next it shows you, gives you options of when you'll be away. Let's say I'm away. Typical person goes away like I guess 5, 6 a.m. to go to work. But if it conflicts with something else, uh, it will show right here it conflicts with existing home schedule. So let's go ahead and put in at 5 a.m. just for show. And then it goes for away. It starts at 5 a.m. And then it will take the temperature at these extremes right here. And it won't turn on until it passes one of these. All right. So there you have it right there. And you have different days of the week that you can change just like that. And then there's a copy button. You can copy Wednesday. You can copy any day. And it says, which day would you like to apply? Wednesday. Wednesday, Wednesday schedule. Let's say we'll do a Tuesday. Or Saturday. You can change it like that. Just simply tap on this. Let's do Tuesday and then save. And it saves just like that. All right. So let me know if you have any questions with that. All right. So it says right here, if you want to delete, I'm going to show you again. You just simply tap on one of these. So let's go back to, what do we have? What is the new one I put? I put away. Uh, where is it at? Right there. I don't know where it is. So like right here, it has uh, home. Tap on this. And then I can cancel it if I want to get out of there if I made a mistake. Or if I want to delete this, I go up here where it says home start time and I'll press X and when I press X it gives me this are you sure you want to delete this activity from your Tuesday schedule and I can cancel it or I can go ahead and delete I'm gonna go ahead and delete so I deleted it and it was canceled deleted from the Tuesday schedule all right so we're gonna get out of schedule play around with that next we're gonna go to comfort settings tap on comfort settings you can change the comfort settings for home, away, and sleep. All right, so go to home. You can have the fan on auto or on. On will have the fan blowing all the time, and occasionally the temperature will, the uh, heater or air conditioner will turn on, depending on which one you select. So you can have the edit home. You can change the on temperature. You can raise it up to 60, whatever, or raise it up lower or higher, depending on what your temperature is like. All right, so we're just going to go ahead and put it back the way it was. And you can do the same for the air conditioner. Change that to whatever you'd like. And you can make selection for auto and on. I'm going to keep it there. So I'm, you can, after you do that, press save. And right here it says changes will be applied wherever the home comfort settings is used. And then press save. But we're going to cancel that because I don't. I want to keep it the way it was and the same options for away you can change all of this and sleep all right let's get out of that next we have vacation vacation is as you have not created any current or future vacation events click the plus to get started so I'm going to click the plus and so right here you can have this turned on or turned off or have the settings for when you go on vacation you start today you return tomorrow, vacation settings, click on this. You can have all of this on. You can have the heat on, you can have the air conditioner on, uh, or you can have them both on to where uh, you have the auto controls right here. And you can set what temperature you want the air conditioner to turn on, what temperature you want the heat uh, to be at before it turns on. And then again, at the bottom, we went over this before, the minimum fan runtime per hour. Now, this keeps the air circulating through the room. And you can make the settings how many minutes 
per hour do you want it to run? And it goes from anywhere from zero to 55. All right, go ahead and make that selection. So we're gonna go ahead and turn, get out of that. And then I'm not gonna do vacation settings because I'm not going on vacation. And then, but when you're done with this, if you make this setting, you can save, okay? Make the save. So you can do all this, return schedule, do all that, click on that. So I'm gonna get out of here and go to cancel. Get out of vacation. And next, we are going to go to Reminder and Alerts. So the Reminders Alerts, click on this, Alerts. There's five alerts. You have options for heat pump. It says heat pump problem January 18th. You know, that was an alert. It shows you, it logs the alerts right here if there's a problem or issue. You can click in it, on it and you can go in and it'll tell you what it was. Like say, for instance, this heat pump problem. There may be a problem with the heat pump on that date. For the past 120 minutes, the thermostat has been calling for heat, but the room temperature has decreased by 4.3 degrees Fahrenheit. Minimum is required 0.5. This may be due to outside temperature at or below freezing. So it has all of these alerts. You can go in here and check these out and problem solve from there. So I'm going to get out of here. Uh, there's five alerts. Let's see what preferences are. And right here it says HVAC maintenance. A lot of preferences. It has reminders disabled. Uh, you can have HVAC maintenance, like typically a couple of times a year. You need to change filters or something. You can have this remind you uh, so you don't forget. Air handler. A lot of alerts that you can set up. Temperature alert, like if it's safe for instance, you leave a window open or if the temperature changes dramatically, you can have alert come on. For low temperature, high temperature, low humidity alert, high humidity alert, um, you can display the alerts on the thermostat, which is enabled. I'm going to get out of that. Uh, let me get back here. And then enable heating and cooling alerts. Uh, that's also enabled. So that's preferences and alerts. That's pretty handy to have. So we're going to get out of here. And next, we're going to go to settings. And the settings, you can set the date and time. Time format, you can switch between 12-hour and 24-hour uh, settings. You can change the date by clicking on this. And you can change the date. It's currently May 8, 2020. Once you select the date, you go to save. Put in, uh, I like the date, so just go ahead and save that. The time, you can actually select what time by scrolling up and down like this on both of this you can go from a.m. to p.m. as well and when you're done press save and then you can go to time zone you can select your time zone United States okay make that selection and then it gives you different time zones that you can select from and once you've selected your time zone just go to save and it saves your time zone and then I'm just gonna get out of here go backwards and then you can also reset all you can reset all of this. I'm not going to reset schedule and preferences, and I'm not going to reset all. But if you want to, you go through this, and you can reset all of that to factory settings if you want to. All right, so I'm just going to get out of here. <clears throat> and so I went through all of these settings, and there was one thing that I wanted to show you. I'm going to go back, and that was this right here. So these are quick changes that you can make. And right here it shows um, the uh, time, uh, the date, currently on hold. You can make selections for being home for now or away for now. And you can also adjust the fan in auto. All right, so it's on, on or auto right here. We keep it on auto and it's selected, if you remember, to come on five minutes every hour. Uh, but if you want it on, it will just simply blow until you turn it off. But I'm going to keep it on auto. All right. And so that was the Eco B thermostat. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, please. Uh, could you give me a thumbs up or subscribe if you like my content? Uh, check the description part of the page where I'll leave timestamps where you can come back and just quickly get to certain um, parts of the instructions uh, quickly. All right. Thanks a lot for watching.